You may have noticed some gigantic, monstrous wasps that may be moving about your yard or your compound. The chances are that they are cicada killer wasps, sometimes known as large digger wasps or cicada hawks. The cicada killer wasps are a bit different from normal wasps. They are between half an inch to two inches long, with some even being about three inches in length. Their defining feature is that they have a black body and have a bright yellow strip running across their abdomen. Do cicada killer wasps sting? Yes, they sting, and their sting can be very painful. Notwithstanding, they are not as aggressive as bees and as other species of wasps. That being said, once they have been disturbed, they have the ability to strike and strike again. You should note that it is the female cicada killer wasps that actually have a stinging mechanism. Their stings are painful, mainly because they have stingers that are relatively larger than that found in bees and other wasps. Even though the male cicada killer wasps do not have stingers, they have a sharp spine at the very tip of their abdomen, which they use to protect themselves. Male cicada killers are more aggressive because they are territorial creatures. Both the male and female cicada killers do bite at times, though these bites do not cause real damage or pain to humans. However, you should be very mindful when dealing with cicada killer wasps, especially if you are allergic to insect bites. The Life Cycle of Cicada Killer Wasps To know how to deal with or prevent cicada killer wasps from invading your house or yard is paramount. Knowing the life cycle of these insects will help you to deal with them better. Larvae the cicada killer begins as a larva, spending the winter in a burrow dug by the mother the preceding year. In the spring, the cicada killers develop from larvae into the pupa stage. Soon after, in late spring or early winter, the pupa develops into adults. Adulthood. You will most likely encounter cicada killer wasps around June and July. This is because they have already developed into adult wasps. And are out and about hunting cicadas and burrowing tunnels to hatch their own larvae. Egg laying season. The feeding habits and egg laying activities of the cicada killers go hand in hand. Once the female cicada killer finds a prey, she stings it, thus making it paralyzed. She then flies with the paralyzed prey to the burrow she had dug earlier. Once this is done, she lays one egg on the prey insect and then pushes the prey into each egg chamber and closes it. After about two to four days, the eggs hatch and the newly hatched larvae feed on the prey for the next one to two weeks. After the feeding is complete, the larvae build a silk cocoon and prepare for the coming winter. Lifespan The lifespan of a cicada killer is two to three months. After the mating season is over, the males die. The females also die, but only after they have completed laying the eggs and providing the necessary food for the larvae that will hatch from the eggs. This helps ensure the continuation of cicada wasps. Get rid of cicada killer wasps. If you notice a couple of ground diggers flying around your house, garden or yard, you will have to find an appropriate means to get rid of them. In some cases, you will be able to exterminate them yourself. However, sometimes you will find it necessary to call upon the services of an exterminator. Amongst the methods you can use to get rid of them is the natural means, the environmentally friendly means. Most people prefer this method because it doesn't harm the plants or pets you have around. So how exactly do you do it? How to get rid of cicada killer wasps naturally? First, you have to identify the location of the wasp's den, or sometimes dens. To do this, you will have to look for a hole the size of a nickel in the areas in the yard that don't have grass. They may still burrow in areas that have grass. A sign of this is when a mound on the grass resembles an anthill. But there are no anthills present. Once you have located these holes, mark them with either a plastic knife, stake, or stick. This will make it easier to locate the hole at night. It is advisable to deal with the cicada killer wasps at night. This is because the killer wasps typically go hunting during the day. And therefore, any form of eradication will not be effective during the day. Thus, you will have to wait until it is dark to deal with them appropriately. Boil some water, then place it in the container of your choice. The amount of water that you will boil is entirely dependent on the number of holes that you are dealing with. So make sure that you have a sufficient amount. Make sure that you have a flashlight that isn't too bright to attract the wasps. Additionally, you will need a glass bowl to cover each hole you identified. Pour the hot water into the holes, and then quickly cover the burrow entrance with the glass bowl you came with. If the wasps in the burrow do not drown in the water, they will be trapped in the bowl while trying to escape. 
Eventually, they will run out of oxygen and suffocate or die due to the heat from the sun. Get rid of the dead wasps. If you see a couple of cicada killer wasps around afterward, it means that you missed a burrow. So you will have to look for some again. Chemical methods of getting rid of cicada killers. There are also other ways you can deal with the wasps, chemical means. One unorthodox yet effective way to do it is to use bleach. Though it will not get rid of any eggs present, it will deal with the female wasps. Ammonia is also effective in dealing with the wasps but not with any eggs present. You will have to insert ammonia into the holes you had identified, then cover the hole with a rock or brick. This will exterminate all the wasps in the area. Boric acid, amongst the aforementioned options, is by far the most effective and efficient. It will kill both the adult wasps and the eggs in the burrowed nest. This means that you will not have to repeat the entire process next year or the year after that. Pesticides. You will also have the option of pesticides. There are many pesticides in the market today. But there are those that are more efficient than others. One of the former is pyrethrum-based powder. The pyrethrum-based powder is, in fact, what most exterminators use in the same situation, and it has been effective. Another effective pesticide to use is Drione dust. It is silica-based but also has natural pyrethrum in its ingredients. It can kill the wasps immediately on contact and is also able to absorb the pheromones and odors that wasps use to track where the other wasps are. By eliminating the odors and pheromones, you will be able to prevent other wasps from coming and occupying the areas where you had exterminated. How to prevent cicada killer wasps in future? The most appropriate method to deter wasps is by having a well-maintained yard and ensuring that it is all covered with grass since bare soil attracts cicada wasps. You can also deter these wasps by allowing the grass in your lawn to grow longer in July and August. I hope this helped you. If you like this video on how to get rid of cicada killer wasps, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we release more videos similar to this one. For making it until the end of the video, there is a link below where you can get some free pest control PDF downloads. And all products listed in this video will also be linked down below for you to check out. Thanks for watching.